All right. Welcome, guys. And we are back with a new episode here on Pantless Agent, changing things up a little bit. Uh, I wanted to do something a little more fun. I think we're going to make this a weekly thing. So those of you who know me and uh, for those of you who don't, um, I spent many years behind the stick, many years bartending uh, prior to my real estate career. Early in my real estate career, I was still behind the bar. Uh, I got to be honest with you, I sold a lot of houses over that bar too. So it was, uh, it was a lot of fun, a uh, good way to meet people. And uh, I, I do miss it sometimes, and especially right now when we're all craving some social interaction, sitting in isolation. Uh, yeah, it definitely got me thinking, as I'm drinking, got me thinking about my bartending days. So wanted to do something a little special. We're doing this craft cocktail class, getting this out first to uh, my clients, my private client group, and then you'll have a chance to, to check it out. And then we'll get it out public on social media. So today I am joined by an old friend of mine. Well, I'm old, he's not that old, but we've known each other for quite a while. Uh, Eric Jerry is a bartender over at Tap Room in Patchog. And Tap Room also has a Bayshore location and I believe Massapequa Park, is that right, Eric? That's correct. Yes, yeah, so we got the uh, three locations, but Eric works over in Patchog. I've got my Move to Patchog shirt on, got my Move to Patchog hashtag. We're gonna feature Patchog in this one. Uh, but I've actually known Eric a long time. We used to bartend together at uh, Saltwater Grill on Dune Road in West Hampton Beach many, many moons ago. Unfortunately, the place was knocked down and it's just condos now. But man, those are some good times on the beach. Remember those days? <laughs> oh man, those are the best. Uh, it was a lot of Fresh fun. Fresh air, good drinks. Fun. Yes, sir. Yeah. Always some good music, always a good vibe going on. Definitely, yeah. uh, definitely missing it while I'm sitting here in, in my quarantine isolation booth. So, uh, you know, this isn't fair though. I, I'm realizing, you know, I'm in my basement so, and I'm going to be making a cocktail and you're going to make a cocktail. Uh, but I need to, I think, move over to my bar. So just give me a second here. There we go. All right, good. So I'm in my bar now. <laughs> made it a lot easier. And I know uh, you're hanging out upstairs at Tap Room right now. Um, Tap Room is open, right? They're, they're doing delivery or they're doing uh, takeout out of Tap Room? Yep, right we have now? takeout food, takeout food, takeout cocktails uh, every day of the week. They also, um, we also do bar crawls on the weekends. So every, every establishment, um, Pat Jug, Bayshore, and Massapequa um, are holding bar crawls virtually right now while the uh, quarantine's going on. But, uh, and then they're also still holding virtual, uh, virtual trivia on Wednesday nights at 8. So, so oh yeah, Wednesday that. nights, he's going to be uh, loading that up with the trivia night, right? Because he used to do trivia night there. So why not see if we can do that virtually, do it online. Exactly. So, We're still trying to get uh, this. You know, a lot of fun. Still trying to have some fun while this is going on. People still want to, you know, have a little bit of socialization, some drinking, some, yep. you know, some trivia. So need a little break from the monotony, right? Got to make so. do. All right. So let, let's have a little fun. I'm going to make a drink first. And uh, yeah, that's my virtual bar behind me there. I'm, I'm in my basement, obviously. I had to go ransacking through my liquor cabinet, my refrigerator to see what items do I have to put together a cocktail. I'm going to make one of my favorites, good summertime drink. But uh, listen, I, I don't discriminate. You can drink any, any time of year, any type of drink. So um, I'm going to be making a dark and stormy. So I'm putting together here. I've got some Kraken black rum. I've got my Gosling's ginger beer. Ah, this virtual stuff is killing me. <laughs> Got a Gosling's ginger beer. I'm a fan of Gosling's. Uh, a couple different ginger beers out there, but I'm a big fan. Got to have a fresh lime. Again, killing me. Wow, there we go. I've got my shaker. Got my glass. And I had to find a way to get some ice, so we'll give a little shameless plug here to one of my favorite mortgage companies, Jet Direct. They've got a nice little cool cooler here for me, so I've got my ice in there. And... Uh, Go ahead and get started with this one. So I like to put a little ice into a shaker. Some people make this straight into a glass. I like to shake it up, make it a little frothy. So I'll load the shaker with some ice. I think I got to kill that virtual background. We're going to be losing a lot of it. It was fun while it lasted. but So I've got my ice in my shaker. Now, if I wanted to be a professional about this, uh, I would say, all right, we're going to go with an ounce to an ounce and a half of rum. Um, however, I'm no longer a bartender. I'm just a basement drinker at this point. So I'm going to take whatever rum I have left in here. I'm going to dump that in. <laughs> Probably look at about two and a half to three ounces on that one. And I'll go ahead and top that with some ginger beer. We're just going to eyeball this. We'll see how it fits in the glass. I'm going to cut up my lime real quick. Maybe I should have done this prior to. You know, it's going to be a little tough when uh, you're kind of limited on supplies. I don't know what you got over there with you, but 
I've got next to nothing in my basement, just enough whiskey for me to get by. And then when I run out of that, I go to the liquor store. <laughs> so I like to give a fresh squeeze of lime, pop that buddy right in there. And then my little secret, especially for my, uh, my, my keto fans out there, <laughs> you're not drinking this if you're on keto, but I like to do a little stevia in the raw, just one little packet of stevia or maybe a uh, half a teaspoon, throw that in there, sweeten it up a little bit. I'm not a big fan of lime. Some people use a simple syrup in there uh, just to sweeten it up. But me personally, I'd like to do a little stevia. Get that in my shaker. Shake her up nice. She'll get nice and frothy on you because you got the soda in there. And then I like my circle-shaped ball of ice right in the glass. Pop that right on in. And that's a little messy in my basement, but it's a delicious drink. It doesn't matter if it's summertime or not. That's how I make my dark and stormy. Eric, why don't you, I'm going to pass this over to a pro, <laughs> somebody who's behind that stick a little more than me. Uh, why don't you show us what you're making for us today? That looks beautiful. Um, so that's a, that's a great drink in the summertime. Uh, super refreshing in the warm weather. Uh, the one that I'm going to show you guys today is going to be just a classic Manhattan. Um, there's different riffs on the Manhattan. If you, um, if you like a little bit sweeter, you could always add a Mari. I'll show you some specs on that. Uh, but a, a, um, classic Manhattan is going to be basically two parts of bourbon or whiskey, your choice, and one part of sweet vermouth. So basically two ounces of whiskey or bourbon, one ounce of the sweet vermouth, a couple dashes of bitters, pop a cherry, and you're going to be right in there. So, <laughs> so again, your, your choice, what you have at home, you know, if you guys prefer the bourbon, you know, the aged, aged stuff, or if you, uh, you want to go rye whiskey, kind of, again, depends on your flavor, what you like. Um, if you want to get really technical with it, you can measure it. I'm sure a lot of y'all at home don't have, you know, the jigger, the measuring device that we use as bartenders. Um, but you, I'm sure you have some baking, you know, uh, instruments over there that you have that can measure out ounces and things like that. So if you want to get really technical with it, just go two ounces to one ounce. So with my jigger here, I'm just going to go two ounces. Today I'm using a mixed blend of whiskey. So I'm going to pop it right in my glass. I'm going to flip this baby over to the one ounce side, put the sweet vermouth on in. All right, so two to one. You have bitters. Now there's a bunch of different types of bitters out there. Uh, for the Manhattan, I highly recommend Angostura, the the, um, the regular, the originals type of stuff. Angostura bitters, or you can get the Angostura orange bitters, kind of give it an interesting flavor as well. I wouldn't do too much of it. It's pretty potent stuff. So I would probably you know give about two dashes. So one, two. Um, and that's going to be also with the orange bitters or whatever kind of bitters you have. Again, it's very, very potent stuff. It'll change the game on your drink. Um, so that's my cocktail right there. Now, I don't put the ice in yet just because I don't want to dilute it. I'm sure a lot of people don't like really, really watered down drinks. So I'll put that stuff in the glass before I put any ice in. So that way, when I add the ice, I stir it. It'll be really refreshing and not too watered down. So pop some ice in there. My little spoon. You could use a spoon if you have one, a long spoon. You can use just a regular spoon, whatever you have at home. Um, let's stir this baby around a little bit. You don't want to stir it too much again because you're going to dilute the heck out of the drink. But give it a few stirs. Again, I like mine really cold. And if, it, if the ice does, if you have you know, different types of ice, you have thinner pieces of ice, it's going to dilute faster. So put it up on another piece of ice, like ice all the way to the top. And there's going to be my Manhattan. Again, you don't want to forget the cherry or pop the cherry in there, like you said earlier, Kyle. Bangarang, right? So that's going to be my Manhattan on the rocks. If you wanted a Manhattan up with no ice, you could do the same exact way of doing it just there, except instead of finishing it here, just take a strainer or something to block the ice, pour it into a martini glass, or you could even use just any kind of glass, and uh, it'll take the ice out so you can kind of have it, you know, Manhattan kind of like a martini. Um, some people don't want the ice in there. For me, I do like ice in my cocktails. Um, now, again, like I mentioned earlier, if you are a fan of Amari or Amaro, I am the Italian digestifs. If you're kind of a, a weirdo like me, or I like that stuff. Um, you can, instead of doing the full ounce of the sweet vermouth, you can do half ounce of sweet vermouth and a half ounce of the Amaro. It's called a Black Manhattan. Gives it a little darker shade. Gives it a little bit of a different twist on it. 
um, and it's delicious if you like the digestifs. So that's going to be the traditional Manhattan right there. And uh, Awesome, brother. Is, is Jamie going to give you a hard time if you drink on the job or what? You know, man, I don't know. <laughs> but nobody cheers. Else today, so I think I'm getting low watch, but cheers Nobody's to around. It's all right. That's true. That's true. Give it, give it a taste. Yeah, that's a good one. But, good stuff. Uh, yeah. Eric, thanks for joining me today, man. Uh, you stay healthy, stay safe. Again, you too. Eric's our bartender over at Tap Room in Patchog. Uh, what is that? One fourteen West Main Street in Patchog, I believe. That's exactly right. And they they are doing takeout. Uh, are you doing the delivery, or we're on DoorDash or Uber Eats? Or? Uh, we're doing delivery. There's DoorDash. There's Chow Now. Uh, there's Uber Eats. I know that there's. Uh, I know that Jamie and Dave were telling me that um, some of these different delivery companies charge a little bit more. Uh, in terms of, you know, their services. So like Uber Eats, for example, charges Taproom a lot more money than let's say DoorDash. So if you're able to use DoorDash, DoorDash is very similar. You just have to come and pick it up or you can call in your order and come pick it up and uh, it'll save some, you know, save these guys some money during these hard times. There so. you go, guys. Again, thank you for joining me, brother. Thanks for uh, being the professional on this one. I've got a, I've got a big mess of ginger beer that exploded all over here because you're really not <laughs> supposed to shake soda. I just like it getting nice and frothy on me. So I, I do what I got to do sometimes, you know. I like it shaken, not stirred. <laughs> all right, brother. I will Good be man. talking to you soon. Hopefully we'll do another one of these soon. And uh, you stay safe, stay healthy. Can't wait to be back out on the streets and doing an actual bar crawl and see you guys again. Likewise. Stay safe, man. All right. Be good.